Hello students. So as you know in this class what we basically do is we cover one entire chapter in one class. Okay. So uh, today that chapter that we are going to do is very important and a very important topic for your uh, civics uh, you know syllabus not i won't say it is very important for your syllabus as such but it is very important to understand how democracy functions okay now what you people need to understand is when we talk about civics okay or uh, any social science subjects as such they are well connected with one another so even though it might be that in you know, a uh, few of your chapters have been deducted in CBSC for your boards. I feel the rest of the chapters also, even if you don't go into details, but at least you get to know what concepts are there. I feel you can incorporate those things in your present answers and make them even better not only from the examination point of view but i feel also from the perspective of understanding a concept completely it is very important to you know dive a little deeper and understand or gather information as much as possible and i feel most of you will agree with me yeah. so for today's lesson Today's lesson that we are going to do is democracy and diversity. Now, this is one such concept that is or one such topic that is very, very relevant for a country like India. Isn't it? For a country like India where diverse population settles, whether it is in terms of the language people speak, the religion we, uh, people follow, uh, the various kind of cultures that are there, people are diverse. And when we talk about democracy where people have the main power in a country, you know, managing or balancing diversity and giving equal attention, establishing equality in a country, in a democratic country uh, with this diverse population is not an easy task. So if you have to understand how India functions, you have to understand how democracy handles diversity okay so before we start with today's class all of you know about an academy subscriptions yes so we are available on youtube but there are if you go for the subscriptions there are several several benefits okay so that i will discuss at the end of the class but just remember one thing that Remember my code, okay? SDA10 is my code. And if you are buying any subscription of an academy and if you use this code of SDA10, you're going to get, get a flat 10% discount. And who does not like discounts, right? Everybody likes discounts, so go for discounts, okay? Now, uh, I know many of you don't know me, right? Uh, so, <laughs> because I am also uh, very new to an academy platform, uh, it has been just a few weeks that I have joined an academy. And uh, anyway, so this is me, and my name is uh, Sushrita, Sushrita Das. And um, what do I tell you about me? So, you just know I am your social science faculty. And uh, by social science, I mean I will teach you all subjects of social sciences, whether it is history, geography, civics, economics. And uh, however, out of all these subjects, uh, I used to love history a lot. And uh, so I have done my master's in history from BHU. I hope so all of you know about BHU. BHU basically is Banaras Hindu University that was established by Pandit Madan Mohan Malviya Ji. So this is again another extra piece of information and uh, uh, my hobbies are reading graphic novels i love uh, animals i am a huge animal lover i have two pets in my house 
uh, and uh, two dogs so they keep me sane okay they uh, sometimes i can go a bit cranky but uh, these are the two chaps that uh, you know help me to maintain my sanity anyway uh, so let us uh, begin with the chapter yeah all right so the chapter that we are going to study today is democracy and diversity okay so this is the chapter that we are going to study and uh, i have already discussed with you why this chapter is so important right the democracy when we talk about democracy basically means people have the power and diversity means the people are different from one another right if we are a democracy in true sense we cannot say somebody is superior than other right? you people have already studied in power sharing that there cannot be a majoritarian form of government in a democracy so majoritarian form of government is just the opposite of democracy right so if we know everybody is equal whether you have a small population or big population group whatever it is you have to treat everyone equally and also another thing you have to provide everyone with equal opportunities and believe me this is not a very easy task to do so you know if somebody just imagine a situation it so happens that uh, suddenly one day a law is made that from today a woman of the country will not be allowed to step out of their homes okay they will be um, you know in home bound they will just do the home uh, you know household work they are not allowed to go outside not participate in any elections or political duties nothing so do you think in the present generation we females okay would we be very happy about it definitely not right now times have changed we are educated we are more aware so definitely if we are a democratic country we have the right to revolt right we have the right to oppose okay now this is exactly what happened in mexico olympics okay now uh, after this 200 meters race is done now it is a very good time to do this chapter because now at present olympics is going on and uh, it's a very big stage you know it's a world platform where you can you make a statement that reaches globally so here two african american athletes tommy smith and john carlos they raised their they were wearing black gloves and they raised them when us black anthem was being played why did they do that it was an act of revolt or a protest that uh, against your you know uh the exploitation that was happening in us against the black population okay and this was a very very important stage a big big platform and the thing that tommy smith and john carlos did it reached the world okay everybody came to be aware of it so naturally they what they did they completely was successful in that so they were able to get the international attention okay about the discrimination that was happening in usa now what do we mean by discrimination now you have to understand that people are different right now um, i am different from probably your preksha ma'am or rumana ma'am or tushar uh, tushar sir anybody but we are different so this actually represents what we can say is black power okay so what became very prominent in front of the entire world was black power symbolized black power so the story of mexico olympics is famous for that now see 
what we need to understand that everything or every person whom we may meet or we know we what people are never the same right we are different from one another so let's take i have purposely added this picture just to make it clear to you all okay see this is also an apple this is also an apple right both are apples but are they the same no right this is a red apple this is a green apple and uh, probably the taste this might be a little sweeter this is more khatta or slightly sour so uh or tangy I think. so even if we are the same to some extent there are differences okay so now it's the same even for if we talk about human beings right now why i'm saying this let's say we are all humans yeah so we are all humans but we have different genders we speak different languages we might look different you know so human species also has various differences if we follow different uh, you may be an atheist or you might follow some religion except god whatever so basically when we talk about you know differences it is something constant because no two human beings can be exactly the same hai na kuch na kuch to difference hoga hi dono mein so when we talk about differences so are sab ladkiyan ek hi jaise hoti hai so these are few stereotype things that you can hear but no we differ in the way we think the way we look okay now it might be might differ from one another on the basis of the religion we choose on the basis of what we think or how we think okay it might be that i might be a very rational person i might not believe in god i might be an atheist or i might be a staunch believer in god so i can uh, be a football supporter or uh, someone else can be a cricket supporter so these are few differences but now what you need to understand from these examples is there are few things few differences that is not you cannot make a choice theek okay? hai so for example if i talk about your sex theek okay? hai whether you are born a male or female is it in your control okay but whether i believe in god or if i don't believe in god that is my choice okay now in india for example we know there is a huge debate about caste system now this so called caste system is also not your choice you cannot make a choice of your caste right you are born with it talking about religion you might be born in a hindu family and if you want you can go and change your religion yes so these differences that are created it can be based on your choice or not your okay now so when we talk about social differences what we understood definitely it divides me now just look at this picture once again now this picture is very important now here we were talking about cricket fans right and here we are talking about football okay so you have two group of people it is cricket followers football followers fans of football and fans of cricket okay very good so what did we do we created a difference between now definitely there is a difference okay but on the other hand you have to see all people who love cricket they can form a group by themselves isn't it so it social differences always does not create a barrier or a boundary between two but it can also unite people so all followers of 
cricket they form a group you know so they are basically cutting across the boundaries of their food and they're forming a group of their own so this is what you have to understand what social difference actually is social difference is good as well as it might not be good but it does exist in the society all right now let's talk about two things all right one is overlapping and cross cutting difference now what are these two things now this is very very important for us to understand what we learned till now is differences will exist so here in this image you might see that there is a difference in the you know your skin tone okay here there is a difference in your income right now what happens is that when we talk about overlapping okay so sometimes what happens is that you see a group of people okay and some element okay it gets attached to that for example whenever we talk about dalits in india okay now dalits already you are a different class of people because we they are different from us very but what separates them more from us is that we associate that when if a person is a dalit he is basically belongs to a poor family okay so when one social difference becomes more important than the other and the people start feeling that they belong to different communities that is overlapping okay so just because you are poor you try to separate yourselves from others and another thing that attaches with it is your caste so there are two things there that are overlapping one another that is overlapping difference okay now when we talk about the other thing other kind of difference let's talk about it that is said to be your cross cutting difference now cross cutting difference kya hai now chalo you have a group of people who have the same kind of interest let's say this will very clearly give you the difference till here you have two groups of people who believe in god okay so ab tak to everything looks the same then at the next level both of them they are followers of jesus both are christian but though they are christian however matlab yahan tak there was no difference here there arises a difference because you again are split into two groups protestants and catholics catholics are those group of people who believe in tradition scripture the church you have the protestants who are basically they believe in the cross rather than the matlab the figure they are against idol worship okay so cross cutting means even if you belong to the same category yet there might come one you know matter of difference that segregates you to groups so this is one is overlapping and the other is cross cutting difference okay now what we need to understand after this is very good very fine so what we have understood is you have social difference now when these social differences we accept that there will be difference right this is what we have understood differences will be there but when these differences become very deep seated in the society and you try to look at them as very different from one another it becomes a social division okay so for example if you start treating one against the other one group against the other it escalates to become a division otherwise it is a difference now if i say that there are people of different 
religions. You have Hindus, you have Muslims, you have Christians, you have Sikhs. Okay, that is a difference. Now you know this difference won't be there. Hindus are against Muslims, Muslims are against Christians, Christians are against Sikhs. So what are you trying to do? You are creating a rift between them. You are dividing the society. Isn't it? So that is social division. And this is the problem that you see here in India because politics usually takes the opportunity of these social division. And if politics gets involved in social division, politics plus social division is dangerous and it can be very, very bad for the society. It is explosive in nature. Why? Because it is not going to create harmony. Okay, so what happens is when politics when politics gets involved, your differences escalates to become division. Okay, and that is when conflicts arise. That's when violence arise. That is when you have complete chaos in the system. So if you look here in India, the type of politics that happen here, there is caste-based politics. So you will have one party who will say, we are fighting for the Dalits. Okay, there is one party who will say ki are Brahmins ka rights be to reserve karna padega. So this caste system that was there, that was a difference-based segment. What are you trying to do? You are trying to create a rift in between. And that creates a division. That becomes a social division. And do you think if we divide the society in this manner, it's going to do any good to the society? Nothing good is going to right okay you are creating bringing in violence you are bringing in conflict in the society so harmonious to bana hi nahi tumhara society okay so we should never really try in a democracy ki politics or differences thoda sa alag hi rahe okay now this is the same case that happened in northern ireland also Okay, so there was like 53% of the population, they were Protestants, 44% of the population, they were Roman Catholic. And they stood, basically, kya ho gaya? Okay, it became two groups against one another. Okay, so, and the politics got involved. Okay, so the Catholics, they were supported by the Nationalist Party. On the other hand, the Protestants were represented by Unionists. Okay. That led to a civil war. Agar war hoga to kiska fayda hoga? Kisi ka fayda nahi hai. Country goes into chaos. People die. People lose life. Hata? So politics and your social division is explosive. Definitely very very bad. Now, let's look at another example. Yugoslavia. Now, why these examples are important? Because, you know, examples always give us a idea of what should not be happening in your country. You should learn from mistakes. Okay. So, in Yugoslavia, there was a political competition along religious lines that was happening. And Yugoslavia got divided into six independent countries. Okay. So, country ko jor nahi rahe, hum tor rahe country. This is something that should not be happening in India. You cannot think about it. Mane, that is the reason that Kashmir issue is such a big issue for us. Na, ke hum log religion ke basis pe hum log ek state ko nahi baat sakte. This is something very very wrong. So let's go back to history of India. Now uh, all of you, I don't know how many of you because was it there in your CBS syllabus? I don't remember. But the division of Bengal that was done by Lord Curzon in 1905. So basically, Bengal was divided into East Bengal and West Bengal. So East Bengal was the Muslim majority portion and West Bengal was the Hindu majority Bengal. So at that time, people understood that whatever Lord Curzon is trying to do is basically a policy of divide and rule. He's trying to you know, break the uh, Bengal unity. So... Awareness hai. If this awareness is there, no one can take fayda of it. Hmm. But abhi kya hota hai? because of media and various other hate messages that are available, so 
people have started getting you know disintegrating so that should not happen it should not be india should not become the next yugoslavia now so why does this division happen okay this is a very important question तो अभी लगता होगा कि भाई हम लोग तो सब एक ही जैसे हैं वी आर ऑल द सेम बट वाई 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 मतलब हम लोग के यहाँ पे थोड़ी ना होगा इन इंडिया देर इज नो चांस ऑफ एनीथिंग हैपनिंग लाइक दैट हियर इन इंडिया ओके बट दिस इज नॉट द सेम बिकॉज एवरी ह्यूमन बींग ठीक है इफ यू लुक एट इट एवरी ह्यूमन बींग As a tendency of thinking कि मैं तो भाई superior हूं as compared to others, okay, right? This is there in everyone. I am superior than others, so there is no. हम लोग सब नीचे हैं. This tendency has always been there in human being, and if this remains so, then by social division, आने में no one can stop. When ever I think I am exclusive, if अचानक मेरे में ये sense आया कि भाई Bengali culture is superior than any other culture, no, that is wrong, because you have to accept that there are many, there is diversity in your country, and every culture is different. Every culture has its own uh, importance, and you need to accept it. There is a lot to learn from each other and there should be what you understand is a mutual respect agar ye nahi hai if you feel ke i can respect karna hum sabse badhiya you are not exclusive when you start thinking you are exclusive tab to bhai social division hoga political parties will make you okay now another thing is when we talk about political party so you, you have to be very you know you have to understand this whenever we talk about democracy in every democracy political parties play a very important role why do we say that political parties play a very important role because if political parties would not have been there so aapke demands would not reach the government you know they help in the development of uh, you know social kya bolte the social your demands reach the government because they are the link now however the political leaders their political parties how they are working that is also a key factor whether you know this division will be created or not this is something very visible in india तो पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज विल मेक यूज ऑफ रिलीजियस वोट बैंक अरे हम लोग मुस्लिम्स के लिए लड़ रहे हैं हम लोग सिख्स के लिए लड़ रहे हैं हम लोग हिंदू के लिए लड़ रहे हैं वाई डू यू नीड टू डू दैट ओके यू आर फाइटिंग फॉर पीपल दैट इज ओके यू आर फाइटिंग फॉर अ कॉज यू आर फाइटिंग फॉर द कॉज ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट यू विल प्रोवाइड मोर एम्प्लॉयमेंट टू द पीपल दैट इज ओके दैट इज फाइन परफेक्ट बट वेन यू से दैट आई एम वर्किंग फॉर द Uh, brahmin community or i am working for only the christian community that is wrong okay because you are trying to create division so first is what i am thinking is i should not feel that i am exclusive second if you don't feel you are exclusive political parties will never be able to make use of your identity okay now what is the third thing third level is the government okay Now, it might happen. Okay, so let's say there are many political parties. Okay, so let's say there is a political party called A B C. Now, this political party is fighting for a particular religion. Say the name of the religion is X Y Z, and A B C party says. that we want to uphold the rights of x y z religion so bhai ek cheez bata it is up to the government how they are going to respond to the demands of this political party right so the government can say that uh, what is this? how come a 
रिलीजन बेस्ड पॉलिटिकल पार्टी के डिमांड्स हम लोग भी शुड नॉट बी एक्सेप्ट बट इफ द गवर्नमेंट सेज ओके नाउ एक्स वाई सेड पीपल रिलीजन के पीपल हैव अ मेजोरिटी इन द कंट्री ओके एंड इफ वी आर एबल टू फुलफिल देयर डिमांड्स वी कैन गेट मोर वोट्स तो भाई इस कंट्री को डूबने से कोई नहीं बचा सकता बिकॉज योर गवर्नमेंट इज ऑल्सो ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग इन सोशल डिविजन is also responsible for social division so the three determinants whether your country is going to become is going to become the next yugoslavia or not it depends on you it depends on your political parties and it depends on the government is it clear so what we need to do is sometimes okay it is also correct that at times it is also very important that you know political parties we kuch kuch aise groups ke liye awaaz uthaye for example if i say let's talk about the tribal population of india theek hai so throughout history if you say they have been uh, ignored or they have been exploited so okay let's talk for talk about them okay so that expression is required okay and however the rest of the country needs to be aware that if a political party is raising the voice of the tribals it is because they need it it's not because that political party is trying to create a rift okay so every citizen of the country needs to be informed they should themselves work hard to avoid escalating such things to become a disaster okay is it clear okay that is all that you need to understand so what we have basically understood in this chapter yes there will be diversity however diversity is the basic essence of democracy right correct right? if we have to maintain this essence the responsibility depends on us political parties it also depends on the government okay it is not one man's job to see and secure that the country remains out of all kinds of conflict that does not happen okay so that is it for this chapter and uh, hope so uh, this chapter has given you some insight into what democracy is how it functions what is necessary and in fact what changes even you can bring right Uh, being a part of a democracy you also have a lot of responsibility if you see people around you being exploited if you see political parties trying to lure uh, the poor people to win their votes you can also do something you can for example think about the maids who or maids who work in your house or anyone anyone you see who is being uh, fooled by political parties make them understand okay that uh, don't let them buy your votes your votes are really really very precious and uh, maintaining the unity and harmony of the country is your responsibility so take this job very seriously so now uh this chapter is complete why i was also saying that uh, you should be aware of the various subscriptions that an academy has brought for you the first is the all of you know about the plus subscription now this plus subscription is very very good and it does just the correct job for you because you get to sit at home and get your learning from the best faculties you have unlimited access to courses you have the best mentors teaching you you have live doubt solving regular doubt solving sessions are there exhaustive coverage of the syllabus Study materials are there. Mentorship and guidance is there. 
practice tests are there okay now tests are very very important i feel because you know often we do the mistake of just continuously studying 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 that does not help anyone please okay whatever you are studying you need to put that into practice okay so you have live test series that is there everyday quiz is there okay mock tests are there weekly tests are there and it's not only for social sciences that i am talking it's for all the subjects okay so if i say if it is a 15000 rupees course for 12 months if you use my code that is my code is sda10 you get it for 13500 now 13500 that is for 12 months that means you are spending almost 1000 something for all the subjects okay that is nothing okay now if you want more help for example you want a personal mentor okay because every student i think so just a social differences hai na so waise har bacche ka matlab demands bhi alag hote hain needs alag hote hain so agar aapko personal mentor you need you need live doubt solving sessions if you need weekly report card if you want we need that your mentor stay in connect with your parents you want a proper study plan plus you get all the benefits of the plus subscription go for it. for the iconic subscription now what happens here is this is thoda sa plus se expensive but here also if you add the code that is sda10 you get the course for 25200 rupees 25200 rupees for all the subject that amounts to 2000 rupees something for all the subject. that is also nothing so at the end i would say join an academy please like the video share the video subscribe to the channel and also please press the notification icon so that whenever a new video comes you get notified about it and you don't miss it. that's it bye bye dada